Welcome to the lecture series of numerical methods. Today we are going to discuss about Adams Bashforth predictor and corrector method. This is the second method under predictor and corrector method. The first method is Milne's predictor and corrector and now the second method is Adams Bashforth predictor and corrector method. The predictor formula is y n plus 1 comma p equal to y n plus h by, h by 24 55 y n dash minus 59 y n minus 1 dash plus 37 y n minus 2 dash minus 9 y n minus 3 dash and the corrector formula is y n plus 1 comma c equal to y n plus h by 24 into 9 y n plus 1 dash plus 19 y n dash minus 5 y n minus 1 dash plus y n minus 2 dash. So, first one is the predictor result and second one is the corrector formula. Rule of this problem under the predictor method and corrector method. For the both method the procedure is same only. Look at the first question. Solve dy by dx equal to 1 minus y with the initial condition x equal to 0 comma y equal to 0. Using Euler's algorithm tablet the solutions at x equal to 0 0.1 comma 0 0.2 comma 0 0.3 comma 0 0.4. Using the values find y of 0 0.5 by Adams Bashforth method. So, in this question the initial condition is given x equal to 0 y equal 0 which means x naught is 0 y naught is 0. How we are identifying these two is x naught and y naught because it is given that initial condition. So, obviously the initial value of x is x naught initial value of y is y naught. So, our x naught is given y naught is given as usual and differential equation is given is nothing but y dash y dash equal to 1 minus y with initial condition and under the Milne's method we have the beginning value of the data it is given in the question but here the beginning value is not given directly instead of that it is given that using Euler's algorithm tabulate the solutions at x equal to x equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 which means this is x naught. So, obviously 0.1 is our x1 and this is x2, x3, x4. So, corresponding to this x data we are supposed to find the value of y that means y1, y2, y3, y4 first we are supposed to find by using Euler's algorithm. After find out the beginning values of the data then only we can go for y of 0 0.5 by Adams Bashforth method. Hope you all are understanding the question clearly. When we are doing the problem you can understand more clearly. Look at the solution. First we will write the given one. The initial condition is given. What is given? Given x equal to 0 comma y equal to 0 which implies x naught is 0 and y naught is 0. Also given that y dash that is dy by dx equal to 1 minus y. So, this is the given one and moreover x data is given what is that also x is equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Okay. Now, we are going to use Euler's method to find the corresponding value of y. So, here it is given that y dash equal to dy by dx. What is our Euler's result? Now, by Euler's algorithm, by Euler's algorithm, our Euler's result is y n plus 1 equal to y n plus h into f of x n comma y n. Okay, you can call this as equation 1. So, in this Euler's algorithm, we are going to give values for n. First, if you are giving n equal to 0, what will happen? You can get y1. y1 equal to put n equal to 0. So, y1 equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0. The given function, what is given? f of x comma y is nothing but dy by dx which is equal to 1 minus y. Here f of x naught y naught. So, we have to replace y as y naught 1 minus y naught 1 minus y naught is 0. Okay. So, 1 minus 0 so which is equal to 1. 
So in this place we have to substitute the value of y0, h and f of x0, y0, y0 value is 0 plus h value is look at the x data 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 which implies h is equal to 0 0.1 isn't it h is nothing but difference between the x data. So y0 is 0 and h is 0 0.1 into 1 ok. So our y1 y1 equal to 1 into 0 0.1 so y1 equal to 0 0.1 so first value of y y1 that is nothing but 0 0.1 likewise we have to put the next values n is equal to 1 in the equation 1 so we can get y2 y2 equal to so put n is equal to 1 put n is equal to 1 in equation 1 ok so what will happen y2 equal to y2 equal to y1 plus h into f of x1 comma y1 so our f of x comma y is equal to 1 minus y ok so f of x1 comma y1 that is 1 minus y1 ok 1 minus y1 is nothing but just now we got it that is 0 0.1 so this is nothing but 0 0.9 therefore our y2 equal to y1 y1 is 0 0.1 plus h into h is also 0 0.1 into 0 0.9 ok so obviously using calculator we can get our y2 as 0 0.19 ok this is a second value of y then we have to put n is equal to 2 ok so put n is equal to 2 in equation 1 ok put n is equal to 2 what will happen y3 equal to y2 plus h into f of x2 comma y2 ok f of x2 comma y2 equal to 1 minus y2 that is 1 minus 0 0.19 ok that is our f of x2 y2 so y3 equal to 0 0.19 plus h is 0 0.1 into f of x2 y2 which is equal to our y3 answer is 0 0.271. So same manner put n equal to 3 in equation 1 y4 equal to y3 plus h into f of x3 comma y3. So we can get the y4 as y4 equal to 0 0.3439. Now look at the question we have to find the value of y of 0 0.5 ok. So we got up to y4 ok this is nothing but our y5. So in Adams bash fourth method put n is equal to 4 we can get y5 we can predict the y5 then we can correct the y5 ok. So put n is equal to 4 in Adams bash fourth formula ok. So after find out the beginning values of y we can use the Adams bash fourth result ok. So by Adams bash fourth method to find y5 ok. So to find y5 by Adams bash fourth method that is what our question ok. What is the predictor result under bash fourth? So the predictor result is y n plus 1 comma p equal to y n plus h by 24 55 yn minus 1 dash 55 yn dash minus 59 yn minus 1 dash plus 37 yn minus 2 dash minus 9 yn minus 3 dash this is the predictor result under this result we are going to put n is equal to 4 ok put n is equal to 4 why we are substituting n is equal to 4 because the question is find y of 0 0.5 ok that means y5 ok that is the reason why we are substituting n is equal to 4 in bash fourth result ok so put n is equal to 4 we can get y5 comma p y5 comma p we are predicting the value of y5 ok so n equal to 4 we can get y4 plus h, h is 0 0.1 by 24 into 55 ok y4 dash ok y4 dash minus 59 
4 minus 1 that is y3 y3 dash plus 37 y2 dash minus 9 y1 dash because n is equal to 4 minus 3 1 ok. So, in this result look at this one we know the value for y1 y1 dash y2 dash y3 dash and y4 dash. So, substituting all the values we can get the predictor result. Now, look at the given given differential equation is dy by dx. dy by dx is nothing but the question it is given that dy by dx equal to 1 minus y that is nothing but what y dash y dash equal to 1 minus y ok. So, it is given y dash equal to 1 minus y. So, using this we can find the value for y1 dash y2 dash y3 dash and y4 dash ok. So, from this y1 dash equal to 1 minus y1 we got the value for y1. So, this is nothing but 1 minus what is our y1 answer y1 answer is 0 0.1 therefore, our y1 dash equal to 0 0.9. Likewise, we are going to find the value for y2 dash y3 dash and y4 dash look at this by the same manner y2 dash answer is 1 minus y2 that is 1 minus 0 0.19 0 0.81 and then y3 dash answer is 0 0.729 and y4 dash is 0 0.6561. Now, by Adams bash fourth result. So, in this result that is in the bash fourth result we are going to substitute all the values of y1 dash y2 dash y3 dash y4 dash and y4. Substituting all the values we can predict the a y5 answer ok. Therefore, by Adams bash fourth predictor result y5 comma p ok. In this one we are going to substitute all the values. So, substituting all the values in the predictor result we can get y5 comma p equal to y4, y4 dash, y3 dash, y2 dash and y1 dash. Substituting all the values we can get our y5 comma p is equal to 0.40616 this is our uh, this is our predicted answer of y5 after this we are going to correct the answer ok. So, by Adams bash fourth corrective formula put n is equal to 4 we can get y5 comma c. So, in this result y5 comma c we are supposed to find the one more value that is y5 dash how to find out y5 1 minus y5. So, substituting the value y5 that is uh, 0 0.40 616 just now we got it under the predictor this answer only for y5 we have to use ok y5 comma p this value only we have to use. So, using that we can get y5 dash equal to 0 0.59384 therefore, back to this equation y5 comma c substituting all the values we can get the corrected answer as 0 0.40629 look at our predictor answer predictor answer is 0.40616 and the corrector answer is 0.40629 very mild variation only, but this is the more accurate value that is the corrected answer ok. So, this is the way we have to do problems under Milne, uh, sorry Adams bash fourth method. So, under the Adams bash fourth method the predictor value that is the predictor value and the corrector value is little bit difference only ok. So, under the bash fourth method the beginning value of the data if suppose it is not given in the question we have to using by Euless method in this question it is clearly given that using Euless method find the beginning value if it is not given in the question we can use any method. So, here it is given that using Euless algorithm tablet the solution at x equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 ok. So, based on the given data only we are using Euless algorithm. If nothing that is any method is not mentioned in the question we can use any method either Euless method or Taylor's algorithm or RK method any method we can use. So, it is mentioned in the question that is the reason why we have applied Euless method to find the beginning value of the data after that we are using Adams bash fourth predictor and corrector result applying the result we can get the more accurate value of the given data ok. So, that is the problem under Adams bash fourth predictor and corrected method under the predictor and corrector method definite question will come we have two method first one is Milne's method and the second one is Adams bash fourth method up to this this unit is completed ok. So, in the next class we are going to see the unit 5 ok. Thank you for watching.